Good evening. Welcome to my Garden Lilac Hill. I want to share the activity of the Echinops, the bee activity on the Echinops, the Globe Thistle. Lots of bees on here tonight. Quite a bit of bee activity in the garden, so I will move around and show some other plants. But look at these bees. I think that's really neat. I'm going to divide this plant in the fall though and share it around to other areas of the garden because it is a bit of a thug. In this main bed, what I call the main bed, I have 41 plants and I did bring in a little bit of a note sheet with me so you hear some rustling because I can't remember all of my plants off the top of my head. This is sort of the back corner of the bed. So there's quite a bit in here. It's mainly herbaceous perennials. There's a really nice little yellow perennial sunflower. And if you hear a lot of traffic, it's because I'm just up the street from Powell Lake. I live in Powell River, zone eight, on the coast of British Columbia. We are not on an island, many people think we are because to come to Powell River, you have to take ferries. You either take a ferry from the mainland through via the Sunshine Coast, and you can, if you're interested in all that, you can look it up, or you take a ferry from Vancouver Island. Cars, there's no roads into Powell River, which I love because it just makes it unique. That's a little bit about where I live. I don't know if I said I'm just up the street from Powell Lake. And then right behind me, that ridge line right there. Just going to get over here a little bit. Right there, that ridge line behind the glass house is where the ocean. So we're only a few minutes from the ocean and only a few minutes from the lake. So a bit of best of both worlds. I want to share a plant in here that I think is quite interesting. It's not the most showy plant. It is a clematis, Heraculeifolia, new love. And it is basically a little, it's a little bush clematis. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really kind of neat. It gives a kind of a bit of a different look to the, uh, the garden. Yeah, it's called new love. It's <laughs> made a little bit late in the day. I think I might have just repeated myself. <laughs> ah, I do this later at night because the traffic down to the lake can be a lot of traffic. A lot of motorcycles in town and they go roaring down there and it's just nice at night. But we do want to catch some bee activity. So I will move around fairly quickly. Upright. That's a monk's hood. So I'll show that when it blooms. There's daylily hush little baby but she's just finished and then this one is pardon me but I really want to just notice my smoke bush this is a beautiful little smoke bush called young lady I love the shape I love the the texture that it provides it's very interesting plant I think and then also right here is the Heliopsis helianthinoids and it is the variety scabra burning hearts and that has got some good color that is some nice orange hot orange color I like color in the garden I'm not afraid of color and I really like it when a combination works sometimes by deliberately and sometimes by accident and one of my favorite combinations right now is this beautiful moonlit masquerade daylily with the wonderful upright st. John's wart and that one is the Magical Universe Hypercarium. And that kind of picks up on the Burning Hearts too. Pink Phlox, bit of deer damage. We have deers come through regularly. There's a little black adder uh, hyssop back there. Bronicastrums are in here. The, the bees really like them. This one's, they're kind of just finishing. And there's my patio, nice place to sit. Just in, 
enjoy the garden on a nice evening. Okay, let's spin back around this way. Oh, and this is a really nice little geranium, a perennial geranium is in here. And there's lots to add, lots to do. I have so many ideas. It's going to be so much fun. I'm adding some winter interest in here. I think I might do a type of um, maybe that winter box that smells really nice, would look good in here. And I also like the idea of doing the light colored Barbary. But let's just look one more time at this combination. I think that's really just, those colors just pick up on each other. Then this was by accident. I did not plan this. And then this little darker one over here is the Bleeding Hearts. The exact same name, just the Bleeding Hearts. And my glass house. Progress on that is good. We're going to be putting the roof on soon. And I've done some window restoration and some siliconing. Let's go see. If I spin this way nice, slowly, slowly, slowly if there's any bee activity on the Russian sage. They should still be out. Grass is going brown. It is summer, so that's what, that's what happens. Yeah. It's nice to see the bees on here. to be activity okay so one more area as a big truck passes by roaring down to the lake let's go over here sorry about that it is the time of year it's a big tourist area lots of hiking and trails people go on this is a nice aconite another monk's hood they didn't get the memo that it's supposed to be low growing and this is like a little wildflower area oh i should see if there's any bee activity on this black adder hiss up oh yes there's still some bees on here all right the bee activity I'm always on the lookout for this white spider. It jumps out and bites the bees and kills them. So unfortunately, I kind of do squish it. Sorry, black spider or white spider, but you're not very nice. You don't play fair. Another agastache in here. I don't remember the variety. I didn't do my research on this bed for the night. I'll get the name of that one. Okay, before it gets too late, let's go look in the hosta enclosure. Here is my, this is a, um, a, um, <laughs> bee bomb. <laughs> oh, it is getting late. This is bee bomb. It's called uh, the Violet Queen. And this bee bomb I got from my cousin, Menarda. Isn't that nice? That's from Sherry. I have a video series called lilac hill from the ground up where i post photos six month intervals and i started in 2018 when we moved here we've been here almost six years the garden is only just coming into its fifth year because we spent the first year getting the beds ready and my husband takes credit for all the buildings that have come in here that we've put in and he's doing my glass house right now and then he just built a little tool shed on the corner over there with a barn door Oh, 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 I hear a hummingbird. This rose is called Chicago Peace. It is not staying in here. I don't like it in here. I can't really care for it properly. It's too big, but good color. This is a really nice rose. I've had this a long time. It was on my garden on the driveway in Maple Ridge. And when we moved to Chilliwack, we took it with us. And this is my third garden that I've done from scratch. Most of these plants were brought with me. We found a mover that would move plants. I wasn't leaving them behind. A lot of these plants are gifts from other people, other gardeners. Some have passed away. This is a Japanese bottle brush. That's so frothy. That would actually look really nice with my 
my young lady smoke bush. But I don't t take it out of here because I don't trust the deer to bite the flowers off. This is a neat plant. This is a tithonia and the leaf is so soft. So there's lots in here. I have done videos in here, so I'm not going to go spend too much time. It's getting dark, but I just want to acknowledge these hostas. Well, first we'll start here. This is the one from Celine Jacobson. From the Ma she was the president of the Maple Ridge Garden Club for years. That's Jack, Jack Wallison, very well-known gardener from Chilliwack, who's passed. This came from my friend Catherine Wagner. This is Patriot Hosta, but it still is a piece of Hosta from her garden. When I first started off gardening in the late 90s, 1998 was when I we bought our first property in Maple Ridge. I was there for 17 years. I went from a city lot with no plants, a couple of roses on the driveway, to over 200 perennials on a 33 by 99 lot. And they got dug up and moved to Chilliwack. And then we dug them up and brought them up here. This is some in substance. We have real big beauty. And you can see the yellow window, nice primary color on the on the wall. And I can't really get back here because the hosta takes goes corner to corner now. So I'll just talk about what I've got from sort of this vantage point. The little hydrangea pink one came from the supermarket grocery store for a dollar and there's the beautiful snowball Annabelle hydrangea what a beautiful plant and if you watch the video on my cousin's garden she has the same planter as me and she's done hers a lot more jazzy than mine I've just got geraniums in mine I still work full-time I only am in this garden evenings after work and I can come in out here obviously on my days off. So I work really hard on the garden, but I love it. It's really, it's my life's work. And I think it's fantastic to be able to share it now with everybody. And if you're interested in many more of these plants, I do have a hosta enclosure video that I've done. And I see now the bees have all gone uh, to, their, to their hives for the night because there's no bee activity on here. Usually there's big giant bumbles on here, but I could do this area again. And I think that is it for tonight. We may get a little bit closer to the Annabelle Hydrangea. And thank you for watching.